Right now, the Department of Children and Families is letting families who lost power, work, or even had some damage from Hurricane Irma to apply for temporary food stamps. The demand is big, so big, people have spent hours and hours waiting in line. Look at this hours waiting for this. So tonight we wanted to know if the place that they picked to handle the applications was actually the right place. And we had heard people were being turned away if they tried to walk to avoid all that traffic. Tenders reporter Josh Adorowitz is working to get you answers. He is live in Plant City and Josh, they're running out of time there today. Allison, they are. Yeah, they've got just about one more hour here before this site closes up for the night. And yet, I mean, take a look. There is still an incredibly long line up here, and this is just one. There's a whole other line in the opposite direction behind our camera here. It has looked like this all day, every day for the past about five as families who otherwise would not qualify for food stamps wait to try and get some temporary help. Two. Another day, one. another wait. How long have you guys been waiting? About an hour and a half. Thousands of families again lining up to apply for temporary food stamps through the Food for Florida program. This mom with her two young boys and sister parked and walked, hoping to beat the traffic. Now they say that we got to find a ride. But she, like others who did the same, were told they had to be in a vehicle. I got to find a ride with somebody else then, or no, it's a four to five hour wait. It's kind of disappointing. And then others, like this guy who walked from his home here at Plant City, found a way in. Started walking up, found out you couldn't walk in and uh, hopped in the car with somebody. Officials cited safety concerns because people were abandoning their cars in line. Was there a better way that that could have been dealt with? We Again, we don't want anyone parking their car. We don't want anyone trying to walk through. The last thing we want is for someone to be injured on the roads. However, once inside, people told me it was quick. Since Thursday, more than 30,000 families have been moved through here, but officials have found many coming from all over the state. The only problem, this site was intended for people in Hillsborough County only. And no one seems to be following a system that designated certain days based on the first letter of your last name. Uh, with a situation like this, especially when we're, we're providing such assistance to so many people, word of mouth tends to spread very, very quickly. So the understanding that we're not turning people away, uh, it was just impossible to enforce. But for those who got what they came for. Um, it feels good. It actually takes a lot of the burden off of um, things that we lost on extra money I had to spend. Back here live, as for whether this really was the best place to handle so many people here, I was told as far as what was available at this time, yes, options like Ray J, options like the state fairgrounds, those were all booked this weekend. We're live in Plant City tonight. Josh Sidor with 10 News.